Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome finger style arrangement lesson here on Lickin' Riff. And this time, it's for the beginners among you. This one is for I Will Survive. This is a really, really nice chord progression and a really nice practice for finger style, including the solo. So first I'm gonna play you the arrangement, then we're gonna break it down with tabs here on the screen as usual. We're gonna break it down note by note, lick by lick. Goes like this, enjoy! Okay, so it's simple and beautiful. You start with A minor. So you put A minor on the fifth fret, okay? Bar on five, E minor shape, and it's just, okay? It's just the first string once, and then the chord. Okay, you can strum the whole thing if you want. Okay, now you can harmonize if you want. You can harmonize with the third string, okay? To get that finger style feel. You can play the whole chord. Okay, to get a samba feel if you want. Um, so try different sounds. So, right? and then you have seven, eight, okay, with your little finger on the first string. And then you have D minor seven, right? With seven, five, five on the first string. So it's the little finger again on seven with the chord. Okay, bar on five, A minor shape, but your little finger is missing from the chord. It's on seven on the first string. And then you let you let it go. Okay, and you have five, five, the barred finger. Okay, and it's fine, okay, because this is D minor seven. It's D minor without the little finger on the third string. Okay, so uh, that's the second line. Seven, eight, and then seven, five, five with D minor seven. And then you have this. Okay, so it's G, okay? Bar on three, E-shaped. And again, you use your little finger for five, five on the first string. Okay, and you play it before the chord. So it's important that you do it with the little finger, okay? Because there's no time for you to do this. Okay? You're gonna have to stop. No matter how quick you are changing chords, you're gonna have to stop the sound in between bar changes. So you do it with your little finger first. And you put the chord, okay? And then you play the whole thing. Okay, strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, so, and then it's, it's three, 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 five on the first string, again, with the chord. So, okay, you can play the whole chord if you want. And get that samba sound. Uh, that's just the way that I hear it at the moment, okay, playing this. You can, you can do it completely different. Okay? You can do an arpeggio sort of picking. Test it out, okay, try different sounds. And then you have... Three, three, okay, and then one, and then, okay, it's one, uh, one zero zero on the first string with a C chord. Now, don't worry about the open second string because this creates C major seven, and this is the actual chord. So, okay, it's C major seven, 
with one zero zero on the first string. Okay. Now, if you pause it and you just play this, it sounds awful, right? It's a weird chord. But that's the beauty of finger style. If you play it in sequence, you hear both the melody and the harmony separated. Okay, that's why you shouldn't fear weird chords when you learn a finger style arrangement. Okay? Um, because even if it sounds strange, it's a part of the arrangement. There are two parts going on. Okay? Sometimes three, sometimes there's also a bass line. Um, and then you have. Okay. It's just the open E string. Um, you do it okay, four times, the fourth time with F major seven, which is F with the open E string. So you just put one, two, three on strings, two, three, and four. So okay. you play it along with the timing of the song. So da 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 then you have the same note, but with two on the fifth string. Because now you have B half diminished, B minor seven flat five, um, which is three, two, three, two on strings two, three, four, and five. Okay, it's a three, two, three, two. It's a beautiful chord with the open E string with the bass. Okay, you play the two on the fifth string and then Strings two, three, and four, okay, three times, and then the open E string again. So F major seven, okay, with B, and then you play the chord three times, and then the open E string again, and then you have this. Okay, now this, this is one of my favorite chords. It's E seven sus four. Okay, it's so, up. Marvelous chord, beautiful chord, um, and you need to time it right. So it's okay. Now I like to play the whole chord, but you don't have to. You can do this. Okay, just just this. You can do okay. Okay, which is easier to put on. Now, if you want the easy version, it's just three and two on strings two and three, and you play strings one, two, three, and six. Okay, strings one, two, three on zero, three, two. Then you play strings two, 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 one. Okay, you can harmonize the second string with the third. Okay, if you want the whole chord, okay, it's it's an interesting shape as well because you need to uh, play two, two, two on strings. Okay, too many numbers, I know. Two, two, two on strings. Five, four, three. Okay, so it's with three on the second string and the open E string. So you have to kind of like arch your finger a little bit. Or you can do this. Okay, use all your fingers for it. I prefer the barred finger version. Because in this case, it's easier um, than to put all four fingers on the fretboard. But, okay. I might be mistaken, it might be easier for you. For me, this is easier. Okay? It's also good practice for the fingers, uh, this crooked bar thing. So, um, we had... Okay? Um, and then, oh, it's not... Okay, this was the previous line, so it's just the chord. Okay, so you can strum. And then you have, okay, it's the open E string again, three more times. And then the E bass again with a D7 shape on four, which is E7. It's four, five, four. Four, five, four on strings one, two, and three. And then, okay, so it's, so it's uh, four, 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 five, seven on the first string. Now you can play the four, five, seven on the third string as well. Okay, and this sounds great when you play it in sequence. So, okay, this is beautiful. 
So you can do it. You can do as a solo, as a harmony. Okay? So that's the verse. And it's also the chorus. It's also the chorus. Okay? D minor. And then. Okay? C major 7. B half diminished. Okay? E7, sus 4. Okay, now some of you might be thinking, this is for beginners? Yeah, try it. It's, it's a lot easier than it sounds, okay? Because it's mainly one string. It's mainly one string, so try it. It sounds complicated, maybe, but it's, it's really not that complicated, okay? And then you have the solo. So put on the A minor again. Okay, so. So it's A minor again, and you start with the fourth and sixth strings. Okay, the A octave. And then you play strings three, two, one. And then you have the uh, D minor, but with the open D string. So it's the open fourth with six on the second string. You can harmonize with seven on the third. Okay, if you want, so. Okay, and then you have this. Okay, so it's five on the second string, and then three, five, three, hammer on, pull off. And then you can play one on the second string, or you can slide to it, okay? I prefer to, uh, to play it, okay? And then it's the same thing with zero, one, zero, hammer on, pull off on the second string, and two on the third, and then the G bass, three on the sixth string with the open third string. Now, again, you can harmonize with the fourth, okay, to get a chord sound instead of just a thin octave sound, okay? So, okay, now, if this is too difficult for you, instead of one, play five on the second string, okay? It's the same note, so, then you're gonna have to move to one anyway so okay so um, I think uh, you need to practice both versions okay to try both okay so you uh, develop dexterity so hey okay, practice that hey okay, practice both of them then uh, you're on G and you have G Open third, open second, three on the first, and then C major seven. Okay, so it's the open first string again. And then you have this. Okay, so. Sorry. Now, this is not the optimal fingering for this. This is. But then you lose the base of the chord, you lose the chord, you play a solo. So if you want the chord to keep going, okay? Okay, the chord is still going on, you still hear the chord. You play strings uh, two on two on three zero three. And then zero one zero again on the second string and then Two on the third, open second, and then two on the third with three on the fourth, which is F. Okay, so it's... Uh... Now, the optimal fingering for this... Okay, would... Instead of three, zero, three on strings, two, one, two, you play three hammer on to five, pull off to three on the second string. But again, you, you have to let go of the chord for this. So I don't think it's that critical. Okay? If you practice this, it sounds fine. Okay? And uh, you can do two hammer on to four on the G string. But again, you still have to play that F at the end. So this 
is actually a more friendly way to do this. Um, then you have, okay, an F chord. Just strings three, two, one, okay? F, okay, three, two, one, and then you have the B bass, okay, with your second finger, two on the fifth string. And now this uh, is a double line actually in the original song. It starts an octave up, but we're just gonna do one octave. Uh, sorry, it's E, not A. It's uh, so um, it's two on the fifth string with one zero on the first, three one zero on the second, two zero on the third, and three on the fourth, then two with the sixth string. Okay. Now, in the original song, it's two octaves. It's the same line, but an octave up. So it's... Um, it's something like this. Um, but because the guitar doesn't have low bass notes here, then it's, it sounded too convoluted to me when I tried to arrange it, so I, I think it sounds better if you just play it. Okay? Now the purists among you would say, well, you had to find a way. Well, I dare you to find a way. I dare you to find a way to play a low bass note when you play a solo up here. You can't. You re if it's not an open E string, then you, you really can't. You can do this, but this is not a bass note, right? You can do this and scratch, but then it, it wouldn't sound right. You'd have to slide and you'd have to cut and you'd have to cut the notes. So this is what I came up with, just this. Okay? Instead of playing... Okay, I just play half of it. Okay, at half, um, at half speed. So that's your arrangement of I Will Survive. So thank you very much for watching. Download the tab for free on the website. The link is below in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you the next lesson. Bye for now. Enjoy.